What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. So, I had been thinking about trying to react to other things. Like, not just react to Nerdcore. I mean, I do that. That's going to happen no matter what. But maybe bringing out other types of reaction videos. Like, try not to laugh challenges or scary stuff. And the one thing that I know that can tend to be pretty scary is a uh, Nukes Top 5. I think I have seen, you know, a few of them myself, but it's been so long I couldn't tell you which one. So I thought I would try something new, try a different reaction, and react to Nukes uh, Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to freak you out. This is the most recent one, and I would not be above going and looking at any older ones if people liked it, you know, I don't want to react to stuff that y'all don't want to see. So we're going to see how this goes and uh, we're going to see if these ghosts are real. So I would say get your headphones and turn your speakers up, but it's a little bit different. So I guess just get your headphones on and let's enjoy the ride. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Final entry. Okay. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies are contacted by an anonymous viewer named Richard. Richard explains Richard. that he found a mysterious- It's always Richard. <laughs> if you know nothing about my channel, let me just take a pit stop for a second and explain to you why that name means so much to me. Like, for comedy, I did it in uh, Shadow Warrior and in different places. You'd have to watch, you know, you'd have to watch the series to know. But when it comes to pointing out a name, like many YouTubers do when it comes to, you know, like trying to name an individual, Richard was the name that I went with. And it was the name that I stuck with. So when it comes to my comedy and my videos, Richard... If there's ever a Richard out there, I thank you because you contributed to a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Curious <laughs> old journal in his attic six months ago. And almost <laughs> immediately, very odd things begin to happen around his rural farm home Ooh, in Manitoba, Canada. That's a lot of Richard open says land. He has no idea who the journal could have belonged to, but he believes that the notebook might have belonged to a mentally disturbed war veteran, as oh, it describes no. in detail how the man has taken lives in the war. In an attempt to find answers to the unexplained activity in his home, Richard sets up several static cameras. Right. He is shocked by what he captures. Uh huh. Okay, so that's just a. Ooh. Uh uh. You don't pay my phone bill. Uh huh. No way, dude. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Now, you can never know some of this could be strings, but I'm convinced, all right? I've experienced the paranormal. I'm convinced. When the Paranormies team <laughs> receives Richard's videos, they are eager to make plans Man. to investigate oh, his home. Oh, even the water Richard thing? Richard to let the Paranormal Investigators stay at his home for the next two nights. What? Gives Jordan and Johnny the strange journal and then leaves for two days. That night, the Paranormies sit down at the table in the kitchen and ask the unknown spirit to move a stack of cards. What happens next shocks them. All right, 324 a.m. Move these cards. Just... Do something like yeah, all please. Do like, yeah, like please do focus cards. so we can see. Okay. okay. Came out of a corner. Oh, I freaked oh. the me. Yeah, now it? it's level. Now level? It, now it's starting to see. Level? A chair slides across the living room floor right in front of their eyes. Okay. So Jordan decides to do a sensory okay, there deprivation was nothing session in the corner. and covers his eyes and ears as he listens to answers coming only through their spirit box. Meanwhile, Johnny asks whoever might be haunting the home to give them a sign. Uh-huh. And he gets one. Let us know you're here. Okay, what sign are we looking? Thank you. 
Oh, my hands are shaking. Okay, yo. Jordan. Now he's listening. He can't hear you. Man. Oh, oh, man. K2 meter to it and nothing happened. What? K, okay, what happened? The, uh, I was standing here and I was filming and then it just opened up. Last day. What did Let it say? Let us know you're here. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my hands are shaking. Just as the homeowner Richard experienced, a kitchen cabinet door suddenly flings open on its own. Yeah, I mean, we the saw that. We saw chairs move and everything. And leave two motion activated dolls no, fam. Downstairs. <laughs> I don't do the then dolls, they head up bro. To the second floor to investigate Richard's bedroom. That's scary this room enough. Was right below the attic where the creepy journal was found. Ah. Uh. What happens next is downright chilling. Reason. 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 You have what reason did you have? Uh where's no. the light switch? Wait. Bro, Wait. what the fuck? What the hell? Hold on. Was the was was there an angle that we couldn't see? You have what reason did you have? Okay, well there were the stairs. You can't fake that. No. There, there were the stairs there. You wouldn't be able to run down them oh, stairs super fast. Okay. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to keep it a buck, just you know? The light on. God, man. All of the dolls and everything. Isn't it kind of strange that... Whoa. Isn't it kind of strange Whoa, that, what did I miss? Whoa. Isn't it kind of strange that... Whoa. I can't see shit! Isn't it kind of strange that... Whoa. Oh! The upstairs light turns That's on like, by I itself couldn't see and the team shit. the piano map playing a few tunes on its own downstairs. Oh, no shit! They have no idea that their static camera down below just captured a dark mass moving through the kitchen <laughs> what? right where the piano mat is. Now no one was downstairs and the guys have no explanation for this creepy dark Hey, I like figure. the old school chairs, them 90s Could it be the chairs. Owner of the journal that was found in the attic? Is Richard's home truly haunted or is something else very strange going on here? I mean, I highly recommend that you watch Paranormies two-part series over on their channel because there are even more strange and terrifying moments caught on camera at Richard's farm. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, you out in the middle of nowhere. If you be see careful. a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact okay. me at top 5 at gmail.com. Something wicked. I might have to look up some Popular of these Japanese channels. ghost hunters, Gachan, Yasuke, and Daichan. Hey, from the YouTube Yasuke. channel Clip Store travel to what is known great to be Netflix an extremely series. haunted I location it. in Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. Oh boy. Hidden in the mountains here, there's a mysterious tall western style Ooh. ruin that sort of looks like a okay. medieval yeah, castle. Yeah, a medieval castle. No one knows why this odd structure was built. That's or dope. why it ended up being completely abandoned. Had a pool table Locals in it and, and everything? Locals and curious visitors and tell the strange spiral stories staircase? about the ghost of a woman wearing a dark cape. They claim that the dark figure looks like a witch. Oh boy. The clip store team begin their investigation outside, completely in awe of the strange western style exterior. I mean, it looked amazing. That's when cameraman Dai Chan notices something truly bizarre. I'm sure in its prime, it was beautiful. I'm trying to keep an eye out to make sure I don't miss nothing. It's a little hard to see, but Daichan's camera barely captures what appears to be someone quickly moving away from the edge of the roof. Whoa! Almost as if someone or something is watching them from above. Whoa! Okay, it the might be a bug though. It could be. They each investigate one of the three floors inside the abandoned structure. Okay. Investigator Yasuke finds an old TV on the second floor okay. and sits down to listen and wait, just to see if he experiences anything remotely paranormal. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Hell, that TV is probably the best looking thing in that. Uh, 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 bruh, you all right? Hey, gotcha! 
What, what happened? What happened? Strength in numbers, bro. I saw that. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Yasuke claims that something pushed hard against his shoulder, knocking him backwards and nearly making him fall. He runs up to the staircase uh -huh. and yells to his team members. And to his horror, he sees something yeah. lurking over Daichan's shoulder. What the, on the hell? Top floor. Yasuke screams to warn him, but whatever it is has just disappeared into the air. I didn't air. realize it walked up. <laughs> yeah, I did notice Could this be that. The spirit of the woman I that just locals didn't know if that was his hair or building? not. I the did see that. Your evidence of the paranormal. Let me know what you think. Yeah, you man, that is, over that is that is freaky, YouTube channel, bro. Clip store. Then there's a creepy doll. No! Jim Prasina no. and his wife Emma decide to go on a trip to Savannah, Georgia for the weekend no. and stay at the allegedly haunted 1790 Inn. The old no. hotel dates back to, <laughs> you guessed it, 1790. And it's had thousands of guests and many ghost stories over the years. No! One of the spirits that is said like to haunt the, the dolls, inn is that of bro. young Emma a bride of an arranged marriage who fell deeply in love with a sailor on leave from his ship. Mm. Emma is said to have tragically passed away after a very mysterious fall from the third floor window. Oh, that's Another sad. ghost that people believe to haunt the old inn is that of a little boy named Thaddeus. Oh boy. Now, not much is known about Thaddeus other than that he seems to have a fascination for pennies, which he leaves lying around throughout the hotel. Okay. So, Jim Frasina and his wife begin to hear strange sounds in their hotel room and Jim decides to leave a static camera up and recording during the night as they sleep. I saw the when doll. When the couple reviews the captured footage, in the chair. they're shocked. The doll in the chair. Okay. Another oh. night and the couple is again fast asleep when just outside their room, a small doll belonging to the hotel uh -uh. becomes an object of pure terror. Look at how creepy that, that thing is. Uh, I see its shadow. Uh-uh. This is when jump scares happen. Uh-uh. And you're just going to lay your head back. The doll slowly moves Not its little head forward, defying and, both blocks. And notice something. It didn't lay its head back in the position that it was in before it started moving. Logic and gravity. Even creepier, after the doll seems to take a look around, it then moves its head back, returning to its resting state. But it around. wasn't in the same Logic place. Was it in the same place? The doll slowly moves its no, it head wasn't. forward, defying its both head was logic more this and way. gravity. It just laid it back and creepier, like after the doll back. seems to take a look around, it then moves its head back, returning to its resting state. Some say that if you watch see? the doll's face closely, you can even see its eyes seem to come alive. It doesn't lay its head back. It doesn't lay its head back in the original position that it was in. That's the creepiest part about it. It doesn't slink it all the way back down to the, uh, to the corner. true paranormal evidence during their stay at the Haunted Inn. Wow, in Savannah, Georgia. dude. But how do you think? <laughs> That's fun. Paranormal or not? I leave it to you. Hell nah, that shit is real. Meanwhile, 
on TikTok. You can't do that now, this shit. This video is a bit of a mystery. Okay. It was posted to Reddit but quickly deleted. The original is said to have come from TikTok. Uh huh. I've tried to find the original source on this video, but I just didn't have any luck. Of course, a man messing I with have a no gator. Idea who the people in the video are, or even what the location is for that matter. All I know is that the video pretty much speaks for itself, and it's definitely very strange. <laughs> Okay, the Lord's Prayer. Oh, they were the one doing it. They were the one praying. Is there a shadow there? What the hell? I mean, that just goes to show you, faith is powerful, man. I'd have been super scared to see this. I don't even know what it is. Wow. What in the world? She's got to see something. She, he, I don't want to assume, but they have to see something. What is that? Is it like a child or? Okay, so this, there's, she's speaking Spanish. They're speaking Spanish. A dark shadow-like mass seems to manifest in the corner of an empty room and then just as what quickly disappears that, into thin man? air, only to reappear again milliseconds later. The unexplained shadow continues to do this disappearing act as a very angry lady just kind okay, of so it is a lady. It, All right, cool. And then suddenly kicks it. Now, I have no idea what happens next. What is going on, Whatever man? Whatever that black mass is, this angry woman ain't having it. Nah. Nah. That's probably like it somebody's falls. Spanish grandma. So over a year you ago, already know the story how sanctified Nick Samino, they are. Who at the time shared his horrifying paranormal experiences on TikTok. Nick says that his home has always been somewhat haunted. Then one day he found a strange bag hidden in the wall of his house that contained old 1960s patient IDs. Uh uh. Even creepier, Get rid the patient of all IDs of belonged it. to former residents of the Kings Park Psychiatric Get Hospital rid of all near of Nick's it. home in Long Island, New York. Say a After prayer, found bless your house, patient burn IDs, it. Get rid of all of it. The activity in his house just seemed to intensify. Nope. Okay, guys, the lights just while, started flickering again. Moving, this creaked open, and I've been trying to see what the heck is going on. It's literally insane, and I keep hearing things all the time. I couldn't do it. Like what? I couldn't do it. This is... Oh, my God, what is going on? I couldn't do it. Not me. That's a nice house, too. The sink is on. That is a nice house, too. What is going on? Uh-uh. What is this? Hello? Now, what makes Nick's story very unique is the fact that he's not alone in experiencing these frightening paranormal events. Okay. Not only has his family witnessed this strange supernatural activity, but Nick works at a local frozen yogurt shop. Oh. And most of his co-workers have also oh. experienced bizarre events that they simply cannot explain. So he's like getting followed. This is not a joke. Oh my God. He's like getting followed. <gasps> Where the fuck did the music come from? Where did that come from? The music just stopped. I've actually heard radios come on uh, by themselves. When I was uh, alone. Oh my God! Literally, no one. Here. 
Ah uh ah. -uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is this is what we're dealing with. Oh my god, yeah. What the f bro, Nick? Did you f do this on purpose? Stop! Stop! You're yeah, dead. he's got to be getting followed. Are you? No, wait, no. No. What? No. no. <laughs> what? It now, literally looked year, like it was pushed. That is still spreading around the world. Nick's home state of New York was hit very hard. So Nick has been pretty quiet on social media. Thankfully, Nick says that things are finally getting a bit better. Okay, but that's good. He says that the paranormal activity just never stopped. One night, Nick is at work with his co-worker as they prepare to close the store. Man, I want some Strange frozen yogurt things now. Start to happen once again. Okay, guys. Stuff is fine. Need to start. Turned evil. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna mess with the ghost tonight. I just wanted to update my TikTok and Instagram people. So I just started TikTok again. We're gonna do some like I don't know. I don't want to call it summoning, but we're gonna see what we can do tonight. No. And mess with some ghosties. Yes! No. Ghosties. No. We're gonna have an experience. No. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Strong. Yeah. So this has been going on for the last 15 minutes. We were talking to the what spirit. What the hell? I guess we gave it too much energy and now things are getting worse. She thinks I'm somehow messing with her, but we are so behind on closing. Like we have to stay so much stuff. No. And it's just flicking just the light on and off. The spirits won't give us a break right now. Oh, it, oh never mind. Okay, let's go. Yo, hold on a second. I'm gonna show y'all something. Does it look like those little beads? I know they're not. They're probably like a car or something across the street. But when it was like in the shadow, does it not look like eyes? I'm just saying. Let's go. That I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm literally out of breath. I'm so, so nervous. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so this is what we deal with here at Swirls. It's currently- It's more intense every 11, single 18, night. And we're still- It ain't even home. witching hour and, yet, okay, bruh. There is a sound right there and I- Guarantee I just saw a shadow. I hope I caught that. See? Yo! Is there a reason that you're doing Yo. this right now? Yo! Okay. Right? Yeah. Whoa! This is the main okay, it stopped. Okay, okay, chill, chill. Okay, so this is. Okay. Where... <gasps> no way. What was that? Bro. Like. What was I that? I just caught that literally right in front of me. I literally just caught that in front of me. No one is here. <laughs> what? Okay. 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 Get okay. out. Okay. okay. Get out. Okay. Quit. Okay. Come to the front. Come go. The front. Go work somewhere else. Yeah. You. Okay. No, you can't leave the See, girl behind. I, like. I hear footsteps from the attic right now. Yeah, who would be in the attic? I'm literally still here. At me. closing time. A shadow where? What's going on? Okay, now music's on. Nicole, come here. Why does it sound this like is... that? Okay. Is that shit playing backwards? Okay, so this is what I mean. And I just... I don't understand this. I really don't. Oh my god. 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 No fucking way, dude. Oh my god. The whole panel came off the light. Please come with me. Please go to the switch. Go to the main panel. Just go to the main panel. Okay, turn them on. Turn them on. Turn them on. There are flickering lights, unexplained sounds, Whoa, objects dude. Falling, and music that turns on completely on its own. It sounded but like later, it was when Nick playing looks back backwards. At the footage, he discovers something even more disturbing. When he pans his phone to look at the security camera live feed, a white translucent figure can be seen moving behind the store's front counter. Yo! He says that he has no idea who or what this could be. He says what? he's a bit spooked by the whole experience, but he plans to continue filming his supernatural encounters. I mean, to watch all of Nick's at the end of the day, if you, you got it, on his record it, man. And YouTube channel, Nick Samino 68. I mean, Almost it's doing good now, for I him. I the story of TikTok user Bailey Burcham, 
who works as an operations manager at the allegedly haunted Pasadena Theater in California. Okay, the theater was I've heard of that place. was opened back in 1924 by a man named Gilmore Brown. Brown died in the 1960s, but it is said that his ghost still roams the theater to this day. Uh -huh. Another spirit that is said to haunt the theater is that of a weeping woman who goes by the name Lenore. Some visitors claim to have seen her, and many have heard her distressing sobs echoing throughout the dark theater. Oh, One night man. when Barry is completely alone in the empty building, he captures something downright chilling. See, I'm too afraid man, of the freaking so dark to be this, doing uh, this shit, old man. Theater and been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater. I mean, it see, really is. You can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here, and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so just double check in, but I wanted to film it. Just in case, there's the I ghost feel light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And um, I mean, showing a little bit of respect, I feel that. What, what the it? hell? Hold on, let me get a better look. What the heck is that? Is that somebody standing there? No, that can't be. Oh, Shock TikTok what? To leave the apparition standing on the theater's old private balcony. Yo, look at that! Wait a minute! Shock TikTok viewers will leave the apparition standing. Look at that! Yo, he's got like a he's got like a tie and a white undershirt and a he's got a suit and tie and everything. On the theater's old private balcony, what? To be the ghost of the theater's founder. It looks Gilmore like Brown. him too. Like now, you can tell by the head since features. That video, and operations manager Bailey was never able to capture anything like this again. That is what? until one night when the theater's alarm is triggered. And Bailey sets out to investigate. A year he records what later. He describes as, quote, the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. Oh boy. What's up, y'all? As always, and I might the sensor quit. gets tripped, I film it just in case we see anything. So here we go. It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip it. Nah, bruh. Ghost light is on. Yep. No one in here. Hello? Okay. Noise in the balcony. I heard that. Somebody's sitting there. A man and woman almost seem or to materialize two people are from sitting the haze, there. standing in the upper balcony. What? Be staring down toward the stage, watching Bailey. Now, some TikTok viewers wondered why Bailey would cut his video instead of showing what happens next. In another video, he explains. What? Okay, let's answer some questions. First off, thank you for checking in. I am safe. That's good. Nothing happened to me. Secondly, the reason that that video cuts off is because I shut it off. The second that I noticed something up there, it took me a second, I started to zoom. The second that I noticed figures up there, yeah. I shut it off and walked out. Nah. We went into search, we didn't find anybody. But if someone snuck in, they definitely didn't leave any evidence of it, and they got out quick without me noticing, so... I don't have an explanation for this. I'm sure there is one. I'm not a ghost hunter. I don't know what I'm doing. I just work here. Man. So did Bailey capture the ghosts of founder Gilmore uh, Brown? It, and it the sure as hell looks more? like it. You Let like, me know what you think. Like the house where no one oh, lives. Oh, wow. We're not even done yet. <laughs> Carl and Nancy from the YouTube channel Hunting the Haunted Yo, are investigating a long abandoned house that in the one middle was of pretty the woods real. in Titusville, Florida. That one was pretty According real. According to neighbors, the house is so haunted that no one will live there. The home has set empty for over 40 years. Dang, As the husband and at wife this point, you'd have to do a lot of TLC house, to get that house Nancy up and running picks up again. something very odd on a thermal imaging camera. A very cold spot in the middle of the room that almost resembles a face. Uh -huh. Then quickly disappears. And things just get creepier. Okay, like I can see the side of it, the nose. I can see that. Lock the door. What? 
Carl heads to the car to retrieve a flashlight and Nancy says, lock the door. But some other strange male voice Respond. seems to answer back, whispering, yeah, from somewhere nearby. I, uh, yeah, I hear Nancy that. Nancy didn't hear this voice at the time, only when the clip was played back later. What? While hunting the Haunted ended their investigation soon after this and a few days later, they uploaded the footage to their YouTube channel. But they were shocked when their subscribers watching the video spotted something truly bizarre. Yeah, it's, it's always something it's always the loyal subscribers that see stuff. Missed. I think something's upstairs. Look at that. I'm getting activity. Look at that, guys. Uh-huh. It's trying. Did you see it? Uh-uh. Just as Carl's EMF meter is picking up a signal and acting strangely, he seems to capture a bizarre shadow figure in the reflection of the window what the? in the room. Now, this huh? could be Carl, as the angle is just all wrong. Also, Carl is turning his head and body as he films, but the shadowy figure just stays in the same position. Uh, oh, I see it now. So just what did Hunting the Haunted it just catch looked too small. allegedly... Very haunted house. It looked too small, or it barely looked like a reflection at all. Paranormal investigations over on their YouTube huh. channel, Hunting the Haunted. Thanks so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram. He well, all right, guys, that is gonna do it. Uh, I've had my scares for the day, and the the craziest thing is, I work in a place that would be haunted. To be quite honest, it would be. But thankfully, even though people have said it is, I haven't been bothered. <laughs> but I remember working at a haunted hotel, though. I do remember doing that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm trying something new. If you want to see more, definitely let me know. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep the reactions going, but I'm not going to neglect the gameplay. Going to still be bringing what started the channel but you know maybe doing stuff like this i'll cater to a different audience you know want to bring in all kinds of people into the grizzly kingdom but until next time i appreciate all of you for watching like and subscribe for more for i will continue to make these videos for many moons stay safe out there and never forget to holla at your bear peace out